hello friends and welcome to my channel the grape jelly library my name is Flossie but some of you call me Flo and that is perfectly fine with me today I would like to bring to you two new booktube channels to like and subscribe to and one new book that you may or may not have read yet before we get into that, I just have to take a moment to say, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, it's pretty easy to do. All you have to do is boop, hit that subscribe button and we are on our way. Also, make sure to give this video a Bonzarelli and Make sure your bell notifications are turned on so that you will be notified each and every time I put out new material. How fun is this video going to be? This is the fourth episode of the Sunday Connection on the Grape Jelly Library. That is where I bring you a new booktube subscriber and a new book that you may not have read. Um, today I'm bringing you two booktube uh, channels because my goodness, they are both so worthy and I just wanted to get both of their names out there. I find such enjoyment in their channels. I wanted to share that joy with you. The first channel that I am talking about is Clary Gold, C-L-A-R-I, Clary Gold. Um, I will leave both of these channel links in my description. All you have to do is hit that drop down arrow, find down the bottom of my description uh, page um, their links, click them, it'll take you right on over to their page and just hit that subscribe button and yeah all right so clary gold she does an excellent job of filming video footage and then bringing that to us that's why i think she is extremely worthy of our subscription she has 93 subscribers so far and let's help her to get those numbers up also i would like to bring to you the channel uh, Mason in the Dark. This is a channel that follows right in the uh, realm of the saying, I wish I knew you sooner so I could love you longer. Well, I wish I found his channel sooner so I could enjoy it longer. He is Fabumundo. Go over to his channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell notifications because he just does a thing. Um, he is witty, he is funny, he is charismatic, he is entertaining, he is all the things. And I am just enamored by his channel. I cannot get enough of it. His channel is right in line with my personality. It is right up my alley and I love it for so many reasons. I could not possibly name them all. Go over to Mason in the Dark. Check him out. Give him a subscribe. It is my opinion and it is of my belief that if you head on over to these two channels that you will be a part of making the world a better place. Absolutely 100% you will have a hand in making the world a better place. And all you have to do is subscribe to those two channels and buy in. <laughs> Okay, so with that said, um, my two sisters, hmm, hmm, hmm. Um, my older sister and my younger sister, I was a little bit of a, you know, bum yesterday. I were, I get up at 4 a.m. every day and um, I got a lot accomplished by the time I went to work um, by 7 a.m. And we had some people that called off yesterday, and so I had to do um, I had to do a lot of extra work. I had to do my work plus their work, and also um, my 
older sister, I work with my older sister, she came in on her day off, which was so awesome of her to do. And my other sister happens to work across the street from um, my workplace and she works the third shift. And she was just getting off of her shift and um, her and my older sister go bye-bye on Fridays. And so she called to, you know, say like, where are we going? And my older sister said, well, we're not gonna go anywhere because I have to work today. Um, they had some call offs and so I have had to come in. And so my little sister who doesn't even work for this company came over and helped tremendously with a lot of things, helped to get a lot of things done. So um, yeah, that is the power of sisterly love. They are my best friends. I love them with all of my might and I am so grateful and thankful for them. And I hope you out there all have awesome sisters like I do that would help you out in a pinch and um, help to get a job done or a thing done. All right, so when I came home from work, I was tired. I worked longer than I usually do, and um, I was tired, so I didn't do a heck of a lot of anything, and then um, that's when the trouble started. That's when um, my friend texted me that she was in the backyard painting a beautiful sunflower mural on her garage, outer garage wall, so that when she sits in the backyard, she will see this gorgeous sunflower and a gigantic bird in flight. And she did a phenomenal job with it. Um, yeah, it is so gorgeous, I feel like makes my heart happy to see this and um, yeah the way that I feel about homes are it's your home make it yours make it unique don't let it be boring I love so many things in life and three of them are books nutrition and houses decorating I just love it so um, yeah, that's my thing. And um, when I see somebody doing something to their house, my heart gets super excited because I'm so happy and excited to see how it's going to turn out for them. All right. So this morning, my, my younger sister texted me. She had decorated the inside of her house for fall, her kitchen, her living room. She put an orange bedspread on and some pumpkin pillows on her bed and it looks gorgeous. And then my older sister was decorating her house little by little. And then there's me. <laughs> so I am gonna start to do that. As soon as I wrap this video up, I am going to start cleaning and um, yeah. Yeah, I have some energy today, so we're gonna we're gonna make that happen. But not before I bring you this Sunday's um book. The book that I would like to bring to you today is My Year of Rest and Relaxation by Otessa Moshe, and it looks a little like this. This is what it looks like. And um, let's see what it has to say. The shocking and strangely tender story of a young woman's efforts to duck the ills of the world with the help of one of the worst psychiatrists in the annals of literature. Our narrator should be happy, shouldn't she? She's young, thin, pretty, a recent Columbia graduate, works an easy job at a hip art gallery, lives in an apartment on the Upper East Side of Manhattan, paid for, like the rest of her needs, by her inheritance. But there is a hole in her heart, and it isn't just the loss of her parents, or the way her Wall Street boyfriend treats her, or her sadomasochistic relationship with her best friend, Reba. It's the year 2000 in a city a glitter with wealth and possibility. What could be so terribly wrong? Both tender and blackly funny, 
merciless and compassionate, my year of rest and relaxation is a powerful answer to that question and a showcase for the gifts of one of our major writers working at the height of her powers. All right, so we have that. We also have Entertainment Weekly's Best Book of the Year, named a Best Book of the Year by The Washington Post, Time, The New York Times, Amazon, BuzzFeed, GQ, The Huffington Post, Vice, NPR, Litham, The Guardian, San Francisco Chronicle. And the book, all right, if you're smart or rich or lucky, maybe you'll beat the laws of man. But the inner laws of spirit and the outer laws of nature, no man can. No, no man can. The wolf that leaves, the wolf that lives in Lindsay, Joni Mitchell. And um, the book sounds a little like this. One, whenever I woke up, night or day, I shuffle through the bright marble foyer of my building and go up the block and around the corner where there was a bodega that never closed. I get two large coffees with cream and six sugars each, chug the first one in the elevator on the way back up to my apartment, then sip the second one slowly while I watched movies and ate animal crackers and took trazodone and Ambien and Nembutal until I fell asleep again. I lost track of time in this way. Days passed, weeks, a few months went by. When I thought of it, I ordered delivery from the Thai restaurant across the street or a tuna salad platter from the diner on First Avenue. I'd wake up to find voices, mess, voice, I'd wake up to find voice messages on my cell phone in salons or spas confirming appointments I'd booked in my sleep. I always called back to cancel, which I hated doing because I hated talking to people. Early on in this phase, I had my dirty laundry picked up and clean laundry delivered once a week. It was a comfort to me to hear the torn plastic bags rustle in the draft from the living room windows. I liked catching whiffs of the fresh laundry smell while I dozed off on the sofa. But after a while, it was too much trouble to gather up all the dirty clothes and stuff them in the laundry bag. And the sound of my own washer and dryer interfered with my sleep. So I just threw away my dirty underpants. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> All the old pairs reminded me of Trevor. Anyway, for a while, tacky lingerie from Victoria's Secret kept showing up in the mail. Frilly, fuchsia, and lime green thongs, and teddies, and baby doll nightgowns, each sealed in a clear plastic baggie. I stuffed the little baggies into the closet and went commando. Okay, an occasional package from Barney's and Saks provided me with men's pajamas and other things I couldn't remember ordering, cashmere socks, graphic t-shirts, designer jeans. All right, so um, there's a reason why I bought this book. I bought it because I was on board when I read that and upon further reading, I am still on board. Um, I hope to get to this book in February. I think February would be a good book reading month for this book. Um, comment below, let me know, would you be interested in putting this book on your TBR or is it a hard pass for you? Until my next video, know that I love you. Be well, be good, and be reading.